Awesome. Thanks, Dad. Really? You can leave the facility now. Sure. Yep. Is it about makeup? It's my favourites. Oh, yeah. Go over the naked palette today, are we? Yeah. You've just ruined it. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Today, I am going to do my May favourites. To be honest, I'm a bit astounded at how quickly May has come and gone. Um, it seems like yesterday that I did my April favourites. I'm going to get into this quickly because apparently I take a long time talking through some of my favourite things and I don't want to hold you up for too long. I don't, know, I don't know why my mouth is moving like this. The first thing I have been loving, I'm going to just bring this in because this has helped me immensely over the last 48 hours. Basically, I had what I can only describe as a mini egg sized cyst in my chin down here. I don't want to like point out too much because it is still there. <laughs> um, I've tried my best to cover it up. But it's, it had swollen and my whole face had also swollen on this side on my chin. And whenever I smiled, like now it's kind of going, but whenever I smiled it was like this. It actually has happened to me before and it leaves like the side of my face like numb because I think I have like sensitive nerves in my chin. I'm not really too sure what happened. It was a spot. It's now gone down. My face doesn't feel as painful and I think part of the reason that it's gone down is due to this. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this in a favourites before. I have used it in the pamper session video with Tanya. Um, but it is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is a serum that you can apply before moisturiser, before you go to bed, so at night, midnight recovery. Basically, I didn't want to irritate what was on my face already, so I stayed well away from makeup, I stayed well away from touching it too much, I actually did sit with a bag of peas on my chin at one point, and I think that helped to an extent. Um, and I was also doing hot and cold compress, the hot compress, the cold compress, I don't really know. I, I looked online to see what the hell could get it away from my face. Um, and in the evening, I just washed my face using my Emma Hardy cleansing balm because I know that that's really gentle on your skin. Um, and I didn't scrub too hard. And then I used this and this only. Um, and the next day, I noticed such a dramatic difference. Like, it had reduced in size so much. I also used this anyway, um, but I had left it out of my routine for a couple of weeks. So I brought it back in when this appeared, this little blighter. Um, and now it's working wonders, so I think that was my skin's way of being like, Zoe, don't stop using your keels or we'll do this to you. I'm just going to throw this in there because it's really random, and I'm pretty sure I've featured this in a previous favourites video, maybe last year or something, but it is my favourite deodorant, and I know it might seem odd to put deodorant into a favourites video, but we all wear it, and it's something that is always going into our baskets, whether we're doing like our supermarket shop or our boots or super drug shop um, and the one that I really like using and have loved using for years and every time I pick up something different I'm like eh, it's not the same um, is the Mitchum uh, water lily one it's 48 hour I just really like the smell they have other scents but I really like the water lily one so just throw this out there if you are fussy with deodorants like myself then maybe give this a try it's not expensive the next thing I've been loving, I always feel like I'm so late on the bandwagon for things, but that's because I never give in to the hype, like I'm always the sort of person that's like, nah, I don't believe the hype around this product, so I'm just going to wait a while. Um, and that's the Naked palette, just the original Naked palette. I don't even know how old this is now, but there's three of them and this is the original one that I have been loving. It comes with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 eyeshadows all in varying different neutral shades. Um, there's not many matte shades in this, in fact I think there's one, two, two matte shades and the rest are shimmer. Um, but I've just been really enjoying using this. My favourite ones to use are Sidecar and Half Baked and Smog, so those three colours. Um, I've just found that I've put them across my lid and then done a little bit of like smoky pencil or a cat eye flick. Um, and then I'm good to go. I've just, I don't know, I've just had this in my makeup bag and I've been reaching for it a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm naked. Um, definitely featured this in a favourites before, but I'm bringing it back because, as I said, my skin's gone a bit AWOL. Um, so this, to cover up spots, is the best concealer ever, ever, ever. 
Um, it's the Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream Waterproof. Everything there is very stay on your face, cover everything. Um, so I'm really liking that and I've got that in colour 3. Next thing is another Soap and Glory product. I picked up the Super Cat Black Liquid Liner. Um, a lot of people recommend this one actually and I wanted to give it a go. So I bought it, um, I found it really really great, it's really dark black, it's really easy to apply if you are new to liquid liner or you find it really really difficult like I do, then you will need something like this. It's basically like a sharpie but a lot more gentle on your eyes than a sharpie would be. Good value for money, soap and glory, I really like the packaging and I think that if, you know, don't know and it lasts a long time. This next thing is a nail polish, that's the one. Um, this is an Essie one and I think this is one of the new releases. Um, I saw this in Boots when I was shopping with Gabby and it is gorgeous. I currently have this on my Tootsies, although I'm still not sure about blue on toenails but meh. Um, I did have it on my nails but now I've got a pink. Um, and it is called Cocktail Bling. It's just a really pretty muted grey blue and I just think that's really really nice for spring. Beautiful! The next thing I wanted to talk about has disappeared. I found some socks! I think these might be Tyler's or Troy's, Corey's or Connor's. Guys, did any of you leave some socks? <laughs> Another skincare item that I've been loving is courtesy of Miss Caroline Hirons. If you don't know who she is, I will leave her blog below. She is basically a guru in all things skincare. She's amazing. And I made her look at my skin. I was like, Caroline, what's wrong with my skin? Tell me what's wrong with my skin. What can I do to improve my skin? And she suggested using the Pixie Glow Tonic, which is a... Exfoliating facial tonic, smooths and refines skin te texture, gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells. So it's basically a liquid exfoliant. I've just, I really like this. I really, really like this. I think it's improving my skin a lot. Besides the little weird hormonal breakout that I've had recently, which I don't really know what's from, this I've been loving so much. I just literally pour it onto a cotton pad, swipe it all over my face and in it and then not this but the cotton pad and then carry on with the rest of my skincare and I don't even think this is that pricey you can buy pixie things in Covent Garden I think they've got a standalone store but I got this online so if you're looking for an exfoliant um, that's not as harsh as the Alpha H liquid gold which I've also previously used but I found that to be a bit too harsh on my skin then this is something that you could definitely look into trying Random thing again is a shower wash. I love shower washes, you know, something that you use again every day. Something that is quite easy to change up and that you use quite quickly. So I am constantly buying and trying new ones. This one is a pink grapefruit body sorbet. Um, pink grapefruit is just one of my favorite smells. I absolutely love it. Oh my God, it takes everything in me to not lick this. <laughs> Oh my god! I've just read the back and it says that it's a body moisturiser. I've been using this as a shower gel. Oh, no wonder my skin feels so great after I've used it! Oh god. Okay, yeah, that kind of feels good too. <laughs> Oh wow, well done Zoe, you've been using something in the shower that you're not supposed to use in the shower. It's very misleading, look at the colour of it, it's like clear and see-through and shower gel like. Damn it! Now I feel silly. Okay, so I have two random things. First one is a film which I watched the other day, or the other week, with uh, Tyler, Troy and Connor and it is called Now and Then. This is actually a film from the 90s. I remember watching this with my friend when I was about 9 or 10? Maybe, maybe younger than that actually. And 
It was an amazing film then, and it is an amazing film now. Don't be put off by the fact that this is an old film. It has some really, like, hard-hitting, serious, like, family, teenage issues in it. And as we were watching it, we were just like, this is amazing. I, I just wish I'd remembered I'd had this as a teenager. I feel like this could help so many people in a non-obvious way. Um, has some great actresses in it. Um, great music, it's set in the 70s, um, I just, I love it. If you need like a good film to watch with your friends or you fancy like reminiscing back to the 90s or 70s, it's got a mixture of the both, then give this a watch because I really, really love it. A heartwarming comedy about the childhood mischief of four best friends who reunite after 20 years. Good, 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 love it. I kind of want to watch it now. The second thing is, again, really late to the party, but it's Prison Break. Um, I don't know why Alfie decided one day that we were going to watch Prison Break. I remember being on Skype to Louise and Alfie saying, oh, I've got something super exciting that we can do tonight. And in my mind, I'm thinking, go for a meal, go to the cinema, what can we do? Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then he said, let's watch Prison Break. And in my head, I was like, it's not quite the romantic um, scenario that I had in mind um, and, um, and then when he came back and we started watching it I was instantly hooked. Now it started back in 2005 so we have gone right back to the start to watch all of the series. I think there may be four or five, I'm not too sure um, and I'm just absolutely loving it. Every time it ends it's like on a cliffhanger and you have to watch the next one. It's so good. I kind of feel like this has replaced my Breaking Bad even though it's kind of I've done it in the wrong order. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. So if you like sort of nitty gritty prison drama series, which you might not, but I didn't think I would either, then give that a watch. Um, we're watching it on Netflix, so I don't know if you can get them on DVD, I think. That is pretty much everything I've been loving this month. Let me know in the comments what you have been loving and if you're going to give anything I've mentioned a try or watch anything. Um, hope you have all had an amazing week and I will see you again very soon. Bye! <laughs> 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 you don't know what it is? No!